Hello, I'm Cassandra here with Cap Inc. And today we are here with our senior product line manager, Michael LaFleche, to talk a little bit about plastics. Um, Michael, I know a lot with um, plastic part design and injection molds, uh, you can get some manufacturing defects. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. you tell me mm, your, the top three most common manufacturing defects that people in the plastics industries uh, tend to come up against? Yeah, I'd be happy to. You know, most of our customers, when I go see them out in the shop in the real world, they tell me they have short shots in their products, meaning they inject the plastic into the mold and the material doesn't flow completely in. And that's a really big problem. It takes several different iterations to figure out how to make that work. They're grinding parts off the, the mold. It, it takes weeks and months sometimes to figure out this process. That's one of the biggest things that I yeah, that see our like customers going through. Definitely. The second thing, as far as manufacturing defect, I would say that our customers have an issue with are um, air pockets um, mm. in their parts. Um, it, it actually cause burn marks on the surface of the plastic part when you're done. So trying to figure out where those are and where to properly vent the mold to avoid those defects are important. And finally, I'd say the actual warpage of the part. You know, if you buy a, a really cheap part, you go you know, get a, a toy and they're all warped in a funny way and they don't fit together right. Um, that's an example of warpage in a part. Now luckily, SolidWorks has software to help you avoid these defects. All three of them? All three of those defects oh, and okay. many, many more. But those are really some of the three common uh, things that we see our customers going. So um, where in SolidWorks might, you, might we be able to um, fix these type of things? These, these defects. We have all sorts of great tools. You know, we have different products for people that just design the plastic parts. Mm -hmm. We have products for people that actually design the mold. And then we have products that pe for people that really want to analyze everything about their plastic part. A mold can be up to a million dollars for creating one single plastic part. So yeah. obviously if you make a mistake on one That's part... That's an expensive mistake. <laughs> it really is. So buying the software to simulate you know, how to make this all work ahead of cutting any steel is, is really cost effective. Well, and thank you very much, Michael, for joining us today and talking plastics with us. The next time that we see you, I think I'm going to pick your brain a little bit about inspection reporting. Oh, I love that topic. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks. See you next time. What's funny is I will be the only person that gets to see this, so I can cut out any embarrassing moments. Okay. <laughs> Can you give me three of the most common defects or problems people that in the plastics world run into? That's a great question, Cassandra. <laughs> You're <Are>. fine. <laughs> Cassandra. <laughs>